scorching hot Mesa, Arizona, ready to take a look at a family that desperately need my help. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Kristen Hollenbeck. My boys are Jordan, six, and Jaden, he's four. My name's Patricia, I'm the grandma. I'm Cliff, the granddad. Kristen and the boys have been with us for seven years now. I'm a stay-at-home grandma. You're not drinking that, are you? I do real estate here in the, the Phoenix area. And you're on the other one, aren't you? Jordan will just burst. I was talking too fast, I hate you! Scream. Stop, stop, stupid! Throw things. Oh, yes. He's a tough kid. He has a lot of anger. Get over here and get your shoes on. There is no way I would tolerate that. What? That is not okay, Jaden. Jaden's got a potty mouth. This is stupid. He refuses to do anything. Get over here. Jordan and Jaden, they are kicking each other and hitting each other and pushing each other. Jaden, get over here. We love the boys so much, but we are older and it's tiring. I hate you. It's also hard. Six minutes right here. Because Kristen makes it hard. I live at home with my parents, and because of my financial situation, I am not able to move out on my own right now. It's hard to be just the mom. I don't have anybody to back me up. Get in your room. Get in the bed. In our household, I see myself as being the mom. Get your shoes on now. Kristen is 10% uh, mom and 90% of whatever she wants to do. Well, I'm glad you're busy. I don't respect my mom. I don't respect the way that she parents my boys. I ask all the time. No, you don't. I would like to be just the grandma. It's mom's responsibility to be taking care of her kids. He's in timeout, you know. It makes it very chaotic here. Who gives him junk for breakfast? You, when you're giving breakfast. I mean, these ladies are clearly not on the same page. Go to your room. <laughs> I don't see these boys going in a good direction. Well, we only have that stinking thing. I don't see a light at the end of the tunnel. You've got to stop being rude, or you're going to spend the day in your room. Super Nanny, you're our last resort. Please help us. Bear with me, guys. I know things are out of balance right now, but I'm on my way. Hi. Hello. Joe. Hi. Hi. Pleased to meet you, Joe. My name's Pat. Thank you. I was very nervous because I knew. You know, she was going to be coming in and observing our family. I'm Cliff. Pleasure to meet you, Joe Frost. This is Jordan. Hi, boys. Hi, pleased to meet you. Hi, pleased to meet you. Say hi, pleased to meet you. Hi, I gather Kristen's at work? Yes, yes. So until then, literally, you're, you're at home with the kids? Yes. And you do that full time? Yes, I do. Pat isn't alone. At least 2.4 million grandparents in the USA live under the same roof as their grandchildren. All right, well, let's have lunch now. Jaden, come on, sweetie. And this was one grandparent who had her hands full. Yeah. No, no, no. Jaden, and I'm not going to chase you. I want you over here now. You can eat as soon as you're done with your four minutes. Right there. I followed the boys upstairs and got a chance to see just how violent they can be with one another. No. Boys, boys, boys. No. Boys, no playing on the stairs because this is highly dangerous. Kids like to rough house, but I was quite concerned with these boys that they might actually hurt one another. Jason, you're choking him. No, that's not part of the wrestling. There's clearly no rules in this house, but when I asked Grandma and Grandpa about this, they felt that Kristen was to blame. Anytime I, her and I get into it big, mm -hmm. um, she'll say, when I move out of here, you will never see these kids. 
I was hearing some serious resentment and Grandma had only just started to open up. She does nothing in the house. She does absolutely nothing. She does she pay what we call rent? No. Kristen has always had a hard time being grateful from minor little things to the major things. We basically provide everything for her. And right on cue, Mum came home from work. Hello. Hello. Very well, pleased to meet you, Jo Frost. How are you Kristen. doing? Hi, Kristen. Good. It was awkward meeting her for the first time, but I was hopeful that she would be able to fix things. How was your day today? Good. Fair? Right. Mum mm -hmm. had barely spent any time with her family since she'd been home, and then she went upstairs, and that gave me a chance to talk to her about her side of things. What's going on? Me and my parents don't get along that well, and when I come home, it's just fighting and arguing, or they'll just say little comments, and so to get away from it, I just come up here so I don't have to hear it. What is it that has you most upset with your mum? I don't think that she thinks I'm a good mom. Do you think you're a good mum? I try my best. It must be rather difficult for Kristen to know that her own mother doesn't think she does a good job as a parent. But if you don't do much, like, what do you do when you're here? Like, being that mum that you feel that you are? I always give him a bath, I always get him ready for bed, you know, stuff like that. So how difficult is it actually having this conversation with me? It's hard. Because you know that you're not being truthful, or...? No, I'm... Later on, Jaden asked for candy and the adults weren't in agreement whether he should have it or not. Hey, I told him no. Oh, you told him no? Yeah. All right. Mom said no. I hate you, idiot! That's not okay. Go to your room. No! Yes. Now you get another minute. Oh, idiot! Now you get another minute. No! I hate you! Is that quite normal, that you would say yeah and you would say no and then you would listen to that and then... Well, if you came down and said that, that the kids couldn't have candy, then I would what say I no, said, I didn't know. What I would have said is, you know, I had already said no, but go ahead, because Grandma already said yes. And so, then I don't know what to do. All the adults have got to get on the same page. The kids are stuck in the middle between this power struggle with Grandma and Kristen, and the whole family is suffering for it. Are you going to play one game? He's been playing since we were off. He's been playing the game all day. Oh. If I want to push A, I can. I don't want to. Well, too bad. Look at come here. Just stand back. We'll play the next game. Hold it. No, let me. Do it. It's, it's, it's not going to be that. I could not believe the disrespect to Grandpa. These kids have learnt it from somewhere. Where's the gratitude and the common courtesy with your parents? It's not there. Why? Just, there's so many issues that we have right now, and I don't. I don't say thank you. I don't, I don't think about it. Christian's just lazy. When I came downstairs, Grandma was on the floor tidying up after the boys. Hey, come help me pick up these airplanes, Jordan. I don't have to. <laughs> so what? After observing this family, I've realised that they've got some serious issues and it starts with these adults first. They're going to be having a wake-up call when I sit down and have this family meeting. Let's talk about yourself, Kristen, and your responsibility and the fact that you're a parent to two young boys. What exactly are you doing? Nothing. No. You walk around feeling like you don't have to lift a finger or do anything. You pay no rent and you're damn lucky that you're not out on the street having to do what 200,000 young mothers have to do every day. 
Gratitude is something that you flush in the bathroom. Your parents have chosen to give up the second half of their life and put it on hold right now to raise your two boys. Boys love spending time with them. You are their mother. Your parents beside you are their grandparents. Quite frankly, it's disgusting. You're Harold? 25. 25? Seriously? 25 years old and the mother of two children and yet you carry on like you're 12 yourself. Like grow up and do what you're supposed to do because nobody else wants to tell you. Your parents are too scared to tell you the truth in case you walk away, in case you blackmail them that they won't get to see their kids. Do any of you have anything to say? Cliff, Pat? Everything you said is, is what I think we've wanted to say for a long time and have been unable to. Today, you better start owning up to what you need to do to step up. It's as simple as that. Let's talk about discipline. There is no discipline when it comes to raising the boys. You openly admitted, Kristen, that you were lazy when it comes to following through and doing things. Then how do you expect to teach your boys the importance of behaving and being respectful if you don't teach them a consequence? It's not gonna happen. No, it's not. I'm absolutely appalled and disgusted to see two young children think that it is okay to speak to their grandparents the way they spoke to them yesterday. Well, they need role models. There's turmoil in this house and it's breaking everybody up. Looking at the co-caring situation, has there never been any communication with regards to your responsibilities? Um, if there is, then it's yelling or them saying that I'm not doing something and it's, it's not ever brought up in a nice way. Have you guys ever sat and spoke to Kristen about your responsibilities? Um, we've never sat down, discussed that. The times that we did, it would end up into a... Argument. Argument, or shouting match. How could the co-caring situation be successful when there's been no communication? I don't have an answer for that. No. I know none of you have an answer for that. And unless you sort it out to the place where you guys have some respect and boundaries, you will destroy the family relationships between you all. So, are we ready to do some hard work? Yes. We're ready. All right, sorry, I didn't hear that. Yes. yes. Sorry? Yes. yes. All right, okay. I will see you very shortly then. The Helen Becks have no structure to their day and it's leading to the boys misbehaving. So I want to put a routine into this home to help the whole family have more focus. So let's start from the beginning. Who's going to get the kids up and dressed and ready for breakfast in the morning? <laughs> well? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Who do you think should be doing it? Me, but I want to sleep too. Excuse me? <laughs> I do like my sleep. <laughs> but I have to, so. These are your kids, right? Mm hmm. Where's your mummy, Jordan? Where's your mummy? <laughs> yeah. Excuse me one moment. Let's go outside for a minute. I couldn't believe this, Mother. I was totally gobsmacked. I needed to set her straight. You are bloody kidding me, aren't you? I mean, you're not being serious in there, are you? What's wrong? You're in there and you're stalling about getting the kids ready. You're like, oh, but I want to lay in and I want to sleep. I, well, I'm telling you the truth. These are your kids. I said I'd do it. These are your bloody kids. I know. Exactly. So recognise what you've got to do. You've had it too good for too long with your parents. You're lucky I don't kick you on the backside <laughs> until you get in there and deal with it. Like, seriously. Okay. Come on. Nobody handcuffed you, did they? And forced you to go out and have some wild sex somewhere and come home with a couple of kids. Let's be serious here. Come on. Yeah, you gave birth to a couple of kids and you're like, hold on a minute, I want to have a lay in. No, that's done, girl. That's done.
on, pull your ass in there and get doing what you should be doing. I don't even know if Kristen was hearing me, but I was hoping. All right, show me what you've got. Come on, fire, show me what you've got. All right, the kids get out between seven and eight. What are you doing? I have to get up at seven. Mum, kids up at seven. Between seven and eight, you can do what with the kids? Make a breakfast and get them dressed. Sweet. Mum seemed to have got it, and so we breezed through the routine. And in addition, I gave them a clock to help them find more balance during the day. It's going to be hung up by the front door, OK? So that when Mum comes home and she's on duty as such, right, you will be able to display Mum here and pop that in like so. I think the schedule is a good idea, so my mom doesn't feel like she's being taken advantage of. It's been six years since I've actually had some free time. And I'm excited about, you know, just being able to do whatever I want to do. This routine is going to be a marvellous help for Grandma, but only if Kristen can stick to it. We're going to have to see. Discipline is a real sticking point in this house, so I wanted to teach all the adults how to do my timeout technique properly. You're going to do one minute per year of their age. You're going to walk away. If they get up, you'll place them back without any communication. You'll set the timer again. And when they've done their time, you'll come back and you'll explain for a second time. And they'll apologise sincerely. I sent Grandma and Grandpa away for a couple of hours because I know this much. Mum needs to get a handle on disciplining her own boys. Wait. I'm cooking again. I already gave you a warning. I'm cooking. Stop it. No. Mm. Mm. I put you in timeout. Because no. blah, blah, blah. Because you're using bad words. Word. You're calling names and that's not okay. Yeah. <laughs> Mum was working really hard, considering she'd never done this before, but I wasn't too sure how long she was going to hold out for. This is what you're going to say to him, all right? Tonight, you're going straight up to bed because you were encouraging your brother to name call when you know it was wrong. Now, you can go straight up to your room and put your pajamas on and now you have to go to bed because you were instigating your brother to call names when you knew it was not allowed. <laughs> he went mad. <laughs> go in here and change. Jordan poured water on the floor, and that was the breaking point for Mum. Jordan! That was it. All bets off, and she lost her call. You are not allowed out of your room. You are not going to spill water. You stay in your room. I am done. I just poured her to the side. I mean, let's face it, she's getting a taste of what Grandma has to deal with every day. You cry, you let it out. Let it out. Because you're going to need that strength. Oh, you're there. You're there. Because he's got you at breaking point. But you know what we're doing right now? We're coming in here because we're just calming down and we're doing the mature thing. And the mature thing is, is to walk away when you see him fired up and angry. Because this child needs to be with someone who can give him authority, and that someone is his mother. Fortunately, after this whole drama of discipline and Mum being totally exhausted, Jordan had fallen asleep. Well done. Now that Kristen knows how difficult it is to discipline her boys, I hope she's going to give Grandma a break and step up. I really feel that Kristen lacks gratitude. Can you guys pick up the crayons on the floor, please? I don't think about it. She has parents who provide a roof over her head, and I don't think that this is 
recognised at all. And what I would like to do is to show her a place where there are people that just don't have that same kind of support. A homeless shelter. I'm Candice. Nice, nice to Kristen. meet you. Joe. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Our program here actually supports families with children who are homeless. So they're struggling through all kinds of challenges that can create that homeless situation. So our main goal here is to get them back on their feet. I didn't really know why Joe wanted me to sit there and listen to what this lady had to say. I didn't know what the point was. Let's take a look around. What's that? Sure. <laughs> What, you're, not, you're not feeling it? I don't care. Really? I mean, we can. It doesn't matter. You, you don't really care to look around and see about what this whole company does for other people? The program? Sure. Well, what's the attitude for? No attitude. It truly is an amazing program. It gives these families an opportunity for a life that they weren't going to have before. Kristen is texting on her phone. It just appalled me. I was disgusted and highly embarrassed of her behaviour. And so I wanted us to walk around the whole of that homeless shelter so that perhaps what she was seeing may sink in. We don't want the children and the families to feel like they're just a number in a program. We want them to feel part of a community. This is an old hotel. That's what these families live in every day. That's the shape and size. It's one room with a restroom and a bath. I know that, that people don't have as much as me, but I didn't think it was necessary for me to have to go to the homeless shelter. We've got mum taking a very slow walk around this property to realize that she's in a much better position than a lot of these families around here. And right now, her pride is choking her. The attitude is not appreciated at all. You can decide what you're going to take out of the freezer and what you're going to cook your family that night. Our families, when they arrive, it's what is being prepared or what is being served. If you don't have the ability to prepare and cook your own meal, you really do take that for granted. I really had had enough of Kristen's behavior. Her whole attitude was disgusting. And when I said goodbye to Candice, I knew I was going to have some firm words to say. The whole point of this exercise was really just to come here and for you to understand that even though you don't walk in somebody else's shoes, that you would at least be able to see how other people live. I am grateful for what I have. You don't act like it. You don't act like it at all. I think you're spoiled. I think you've had it too good, and I don't even think you know what gratitude is. It annoyed me that she called me a spoiled brat. Let me tell you something. They are richer than what you are inside. That's fine. No, it's not. I'm hoping, Kristen, I'm hoping that our experience together is going to allow you to mature. Do you think you've got that in you? I'm sure. yet to be seen. I'll see you at home. I mean, let's face it, Kristen's short when it comes to gratitude, but I'm not going to give up on pushing her. So after we got back from the homeless shelter, I wanted to teach Kristen a new technique. I'm giving you this to make you really mindful of all the things that we spoke about today. The calendar is a small little gesture for Kristen to show her mother all the things that she's grateful for. So every day, if you go think of one, every day just one. You want to read it? Yeah, why not? That's from today and sticking with what Joe has taught us, yeah. There's been a lot of resentment built up in this family and I know that it's not going to disappear overnight. But Kristen's note to Grandma was a glimmer of hope and I knew that she needed to read it. Pat, there's a wonderful note on there that she's wrote, which I thought you'd really appreciate reading. Sit. <laughs> Can you 
You read it? No? You want to try? My mom says, I am thankful for on Saturday. My mom being strong today. Yeah. <laughs> and sticking with what Joe has taught us. It made me cry. It still makes me cry. Just to hear that Kristen is uh, aware and is thankful. She hasn't been in the past. Fix. I don't tell her that I'm thankful or grateful nearly enough. I made her feel good that I was proud of her. It's time for me to leave. All right, give me a hug. I'll see you in a couple of days, okay? I think that we're gonna have a lot of work ahead of us. Jaden. Say bye to Jeff. Jordan, come give Judge a hug. Bye, Cliff. Bye. Keep your energy. Thank Bye. you. We're gonna get tested, I know that. That's just natural. Pat, keep it together. I knew she wasn't gonna be back for a few days, and I was afraid that we wouldn't be able to follow through with things. I'll see you when I get back. Good night. Take care, good night. I was very afraid when Joe walked out that door. Leaving this family right now doesn't exactly feel comfortable because I know that there's still so much more work to do. And I don't know if Kristen's really up for this challenge. I've been away for quite a while. And I must say, I'm deeply concerned whether this family have even accomplished anything whilst I've been gone. How are we? Good. In good health? Good, yes. Yes, thank you. Kristin? Good. I hadn't even started, and I could feel that something was seriously off here. All right, so let's take a first look at our clip here. Communication. What are you doing with that rug line in there? It's got a big nasty spot on it, so I didn't. Okay, so what are you doing? Are you throwing it away? It was clean. You could have just folded it up. I know. I was going to fold it away upstairs. and set it up on the counter. I'm off, Jaden. Jaden, mom, I don't need you to repeat it every five minutes. I understand. Okay, but I feel like I'm still on. Did you record over my my thing? I don't think so. You did. You recorded over it, Clifford. You should have freaking checked. Where's the breakdown in the communication? It's mostly me and my mom. That's where we have the problems. Kristen basically just doesn't want to hear from us. The lack of respect, where does it come from? Because I, I, I've got to be honest with you, to sit and watch you speak to your parents like that appalls me. I'm resentful okay. for everything that goes on here. Yeah. You know, I just want to get out. And, and yourself? I'm pretty angry. Right, okay. I'm pretty angry with Kristen. Right. Um, she hasn't stepped up and, and done the things that you had put in place for us. But you, you obviously don't feel like that has been the case. Okay. If the kids aren't being taken care of, then who's to do it? But what would make you think that they're not being taken care of? Well, Mom I gets up. See it fixes their breakfast, does their homework 90% no, of the time. No, she doesn't. And Who sat down No, here? she doesn't. Right, okay. I'm here to listen to all of your points of view. But listening to you does allow me to see exactly where we're at with regards to that communication. And obviously we've not made any progress. All right, so let's take a look at Mum and the boys. I did not do it. Um, kind of like a crossword puzzle. To fill in the words. Okay, what is that? Mommy, can you come hit with us? Mommy, can you come hit with us? What do you mean? Hit the ball with us. Swing. You swing, and I'll watch. Hmm. Okay, guys, dinner's here. Didn't finish after dinner. Yeah, we're gonna wash our hands. Let's go. Let here. Well, Grandma cares. Let's go. Come on. Do you think that your daughter cares about her boys? 
I think Kristen cares about Kristen first. Any comments, Cliff? I think she loves her kids, but I don't think they come first. Okay. Thank you for your honesty. We're talking about the truth, and it's hitting raw nerves and feelings. But we've, but we've been here already, and time has gone on, and we're still back in this same place which shows me that there are some things that certainly haven't been learned. And that's why, as human beings, you're all feeling very raw and disrespected and angry and hurt and a lot of pain. There's hope in where this can move forward. But you've got to be able to look at yourselves first. You've got to be accountable. You've got to be responsible for those actions. Let's move on to the next one here. Keep her cell. Yeah. Keep her cell. Do you want to keep or sell this? Jaden, you want to keep this or sell this? Remember, the more money that you get, you the more toys you can get. You want to sell it? Jaden, keep or sell. Thank you. All right, so keep or sell, keep or sell. What's going on? Just going through all the toys, what ones they want to keep for the garage sale. Right, and the reason why we're having a garage show? Because we may be moving. All right, so, what, all of you? No, just me and the kids. And suddenly it became very clear to me what the dark cloud was that was hanging over the room. So you move, so where are you going to? We might move to Colorado. Okay. And the might, is that a slim chance or are you, you feeling good about that or? Well, my boyfriend's there working right now. All right, okay. So for yourself, it's that you're gonna move in with him? Yeah, all right. So how are you guys feeling about that? I wanna see her get out on her own and do the things that she is capable of doing. A little reluctant about moving so far away if she runs into a problem or things aren't, it's, you know, we're not close by. The fact that I now know that mum's leaving with the kids it means that I've got to think about Pat and Kristen and where their relationship is right now. I'd like to work on life beyond Kristen leaving here this afternoon. Do you all still welcome that? Yes. Yeah. I look forward to seeing you this afternoon. I'd left mum and grandma to work on their relationship so that they could both take care of these boys. And now Kristen has decided that she's going to move to Colorado and obviously take the boys with her. The emotions between mum and Pat are very, very raw. And I really do believe that they need to talk more about their feelings. And so I'm gonna have them sit back to back first until they can have a decent conversation. If we was to cut through all the hostility, what's the primary thing that you are angry with your mum about, Kristen? Tell me why you're upset right now. Stay with me. Tell me why you're upset. <laughs> For the things that she says. <sighs> How do they make you feel? It hurts me. Okay. Pat? How do you feel right now with how Kristen's feeling? Angry, I guess. It's what I'm feeling right now. Slowly but surely, as mum and grandma started to talk more, they started to open up more. What did you expect from your mum that she let you down with? I don't think that she let me be a mom. What did you do to add fuel to that situation? I stepped back and, and didn't do as much as I should have. Mm -hmm. And the reasons why you chose not to do that? Being lazy. I'm not a perfect mom. I'm not a perfect person. But, you know, I have been working on it and I have been trying. So, Pat, what do you feel you did that added fuel to the fire I jumped in and took over. If she didn't take care of the kids, I did. If she didn't get them ready in the morning, I did. I feel as though I need to control everything. OK. 
Okay. That's a huge mistake. That's a huge. Mm -hmm. I had to take a real long look at myself and say, yeah, I do have this need to control. It's something I need to work on. Is there hope for the pair of you? I hope so. Hmm? Yeah. How do you think your move will start to heal your relationship with your mom? I think that things will change and be better and a new start. I'll be able to take care of my kids and she can just be the grandma. These two are finally making progress. So what I want to do now is give them an exercise so that they can maintain that communication. I'd like to give you these books. It's a weekly planner, yeah? What I'm really hoping is that the pair of you will take one of these books each and before you leave, that you will jot down times and consistently stick to them where literally you guys can correspond via web chat or on the phone. Is that something that you both feel that you could bring together and do? I feel I can. I'm looking forward to setting up that schedule and the web chat. I am definitely going to use the planner. I like the way we are right now. We're a lot closer than where we were half an hour ago. I'm sure that once we move, me and my mom are close, so I'm sure that, you know, I'll want her to come up there and see the house. Can you get it to work? You kind of busted it all up. Kristen is moving with the boys to Colorado with all the tools that she's been taught. And if she uses them correctly, then she'll make fabulous progress. And that change will mature her in a way that will allow her to take responsibility and really connect with her sons. I'm going to leave. All right. Thank you. Get your back in. Get some traveling going. All right. This uh, experience with Joe has uh, made us stronger. We still have a long ways to go, but it has pointed us in the right direction. I think Joe's methods are good. I'm glad that we got to meet her and get to know her and that she was willing to come and help our family. Hope to hear from you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye. 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 If Kristen and her parents keep up their communication, then ultimately what they will do is start to heal those wounds that have kept them apart. And if they keep moving forward, it means it's going to benefit the whole family. And that would be a good thing.